Uh, Dr. Stein, you do have a lot of experience in doing extractions uh, because you worked uh, for a volunteer, um, uh, you know, community outfit where extractions was, uh, you know, kind of uh, the order of the day. Uh, yeah. uh, lots of doctors, uh, lots of dentists actually, especially young dentists and stuff, um, you know, anyway, they have a, an apprehension for uh, 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 extractions. Uh, even to the dentist, it's not comfortable, never mind to the patient. And tell us a little bit how you go about there, what makes you there, you know, what, what should patients take care of? Is there maybe something they should do, such uh, eat particular vitamins to have less pain after the procedure or before uh, to prep up the tooth? Uh, would you be doing, since you're so experienced in extractions, would you be doing impacted molar teeth also? Shade some light on the whole in extraction thing out there. Um, I, uh, as, as far as the actual procedure, um, I, I'm not aware of something that the patient can do uh, prior to, to make the pain at ease, unless of very extreme. We have some patients that are very phobic and, and uh, we, I, I'll prescribe some Valium as a, just as a sedative, but the actual the procedure itself, um, we just try to uh, really, in most cases, the extraction is not, not very difficult, um, and uh, it, it's more the, the thought of losing a tooth that, that's the, the difficult part. Um, but the extraction itself, in most cases, doesn't take very long. There are some teeth that are more difficult, some situations are, and you mentioned impactions. Uh, impactions. I do some. I, I really depends on the. I, I have to evaluate the X-ray first and see how if it's something that that I can. Oh, I'd like to tackle, or some in, in some cases uh, I'll refer out. But I would say I do 99% of of extractions. I, I really don't refer very many out. Um, so. Impactions are probably the most that I do refer out uh, because those can be a little tricky. Sometimes they can involve the the nerve. They can, um, and I think it's best handled uh, in many cases by by a, an oral surgeon. Um, but routine extractions, um, I feel very comfortable. I've done many many thousands. Uh, I, I couldn't even count. I used to work uh, yeah in a center where it was. Uh, we would do sometimes 10, 20 a day, um, and I worked there for for two years. So um, I did become very experienced, and and uh, so so yeah. So we tried to save teeth, obviously, but when they do have to, when they do need extraction, then uh, then I'm, I feel comfortable in handling that. Wonderful. So you 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 actually only pull the tooth out. You're not bu butchering the whole guy, right? No, no. <laughs> that's good to know. That's yeah. good to know. And you know, I, you know, again, I can see that um, uh, knowing you, that you, uh, um, um, you know, you basically look at what is best for the patient. And if for some reason the extraction becomes too difficult, uh, for some reason, or like you know, demands a few little equipments or things which uh, which which you don't have. Then you send him to a person who that's what he does all the time. Right. Uh, because obviously, if, if a person uh, like a specialist does a certain things all the time, he does get a little better at it uh, all the time. Yeah. So if it's if it comes to that level, you have no problem referring them out. But no. most of the time, you do it in in your office, right? Right. Yeah. Well, all right. So should patients be afraid of extractions? You know, or, or, or you know, do they really feel it? Do they have like four or five days of heavy pain afterwards, or, uh, or, or not really? Not, not typically. No, I, I would say the, the the people that may have more difficulty are are smokers, um, diabetics, where healing can be affected more. Um, smoking definitely slows down the healing. Um, or if the extraction itself is a very difficult one, then. I would expect a few days of of discomfort, but uh, typically, I, in fact, I, I rarely even do uh, stitches. People, uh, some people expect the automatic uh, stitches, and it's really rare th that you. In most extractions, don't even require stitching, and in fact, the stitching can make uh, can cause more pain afterwards. Uh, normal, the healing is just close. Closes up, uh, blood clot forms, and and it just uh, the healing afterwards is is usually just minimal discomfort. Um, we guide through, you know, and, and it, we're available if if there is any question or or concerns. 
Um, so we tried to make the process as, uh, as comfortable for the patient both during the procedure and afterwards. Great. Thanks a lot, Dr. Stein. Okay.